Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the ignition coils on a Mitsubishi four-cylinder engine. It's a very simple procedure. Um, the main thing that you'll need is a 10 millimeter socket. Like that, we're gonna need to remove this engine cover first. So we're using a 10 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts that hold the engine cover in place. So you do have to be careful so that those bolts don't um, fall on in the engine here. Once the bolts are loose, you can take the engine cover and put it to the side. Here we have the ignition coils, one, two, three, four, around top of the engine. Now, you could replace just the one that's faulty. It is recommended to replace all at the same time, but it's not necessary. So before we disconnect the electrical connector, and also before you even take off the engine cover, we recommend disconnecting the negative battery terminal to power down the vehicle. So if you're only replacing one, and you know which it is, and you know the code that points to the faulty ignition coil, uh, if it's a fault for ignition coil one, it will be this one right here. If it's for two, it will be this, three, and four. So right here we have the transmission, four, three, two, one. And then right here on this, this side, we have the serpentine belt. So if this engine is mounted this way, the front coil will be number one, two, three, four. So just in case, if you're only replacing one. So to replace it, first disconnect the electrical connector, press on this connector here and pull them back. Do not pull on the wires itself because you can damage those connectors. Then here, remove the 10 millimeter bolt. This bolt holds the ignition coil to the engine that to the side and then simply pull up the ignition coil take the new ignition coil press that all the way in start threading the ignition coil bolt by hand then tighten it with a 10 millimeter wrench connect the electrical connector now do the same if you're going to replace all of them. This might be a good time to change the spark plugs as well. Let's take the engine cover. I'm going to line these tabs here. That goes right there. So you're going to line that up first and then push down. And once you do that, then make sure to tighten the two bolts for the engine cover. And that's it. Thanks for watching.